and welcome to episode 6 of the Computercraft Open Peripherals Programming Tutorial. Uh, um, today I am going to be working on tutorial 6 which is arrays. Uh, I know it's showing a tutorial 5.2 if you did see in tutorial 5 that I did not program a tutorial 5.2 uh, that's because I cut it out because it was dealing with uh, the subject for today's episode. So we're going to start off with tutorial 6. Uh, arrays in a nutshell are just variables with the ability to store multiple data within it. To start an array, we would need to assign a variable. I assigned array, and it equals this. Um, these two brackets here show that it is an array. Uh, we can, I will show the op, uh, second way of entering data into an array here in just a second, but we start out with this array bracket one, close bracket, equals. Um, 13. Uh, array bracket 2 equals mount core. Uh, in normal variables, we cannot assign a numerical and a string to the same word uh, for an array. Um, but with an array, we can set numbers, strings, and other variables in there. So we can print to the screen array 2 and we will also print array. Oops forgot the that array one and when we run tutorial six you'll see here that it print Malcor and thirteen in opposite order than what we entered them in at. This is because we called them in different orders. Now that is the way of entering data into an array. Uh, I could go the other way of entering data into an array is like this. Uh, go back up here to the array and you see where we've got that set up. We can put in 13 and then comma and we'll put my, there we go, the mount core. All right, now we save this and exit, and we, oh, no, exit, and we run it now. You'll see that it will print out the mount core and then 13. The reason why is this is value one, value one, this is value two, value two. Um, it's a different way of entering it in here. <clears throat> we can also set up individual keys like this. Let me see if I can get this correct. Um, key. We'll call it my key and equals pizza. Okay, now we can print array my key. We'll exit or we'll save and exit this and run it again. As you can see there, it did not print up on the screen. Um, 
the reason why is when you're calling it back uh, we have to make sure that this has quotes around it oh wait um, exit there we go and if you see the Malcor 13 pizza all right now to go into what was covered in the extra bit of 52 that I did not cover. If you notice, I have this printing out here with three separate lines. What if I wanted to make the array bigger? So what we would do is for key comma value in pair colon array do print print array or print value end if you see that this is just one line it is using the for loop uh, like we talked about earlier and instead of breaking it into multiple lines which you can do um, right you can write it in a single line like this so as you can see here uh, the for loop says for each key and value in oh I see an error here in my coding uh, in pairs you got to make sure that it is pairs of the array which is all this do the print value on the screen so let's do this here real quick tutorial 6 and you notice that instead of three separate lines of code we can actually make it just one uh, and if we add more to this, like um, 54, 98, it will add the 54, 98 before the personal value of pizza. All right. So that's been the arrays and also how to use loops with them uh, if you have any questions about this episode feel free to leave a comment below and like subscribe if this has helped you out and I will be glad to help you out until next time later gators